Is it possible to pitch your business idea to Elon Musk, the most successful person of our generation? This is a question that I always had and I'm going to find an answer. I started watching every single video of Elon Musk until I found some hope in this one, where he explains how he forced someone to give him the name for Tesla. I sent the nicest guy in the company to just go sit on his doorstep and not leave until he agreed to sell it to us. So eventually just the guy said, fine, I'll sell you the name. So let's give Elon Musk a taste of his own medicine. Good afternoon, how are we doing today? Where are you headed? SpaceX. Oh really, what for? Do you work there or something? You're some type of astronaut? No, I'm going to meet Elon Musk. Meet Elon Musk? Uh, man, I like that guy, but how are you gonna meet him? Do you know him already? I never met him before, but I'm going to sleep outside SpaceX until he agrees to meet me. <laughs> This is the closest I have ever been to my hero. It's inspiring to be surrounded by his creations. In the morning, a police officer woke me up in a threatening way and told me to immediately leave SpaceX property. The police told me that I'm only allowed to be on this side of the road. I decided that the hug will be the best way to get close to Elon. So I spent the whole day trying to get the employees' attention. You know, there's like a hundred people trying to get Elon's attention down here all the time. Come on, really? You're gonna get sunburn. Let me get you a hat and some sunscreen. Oh my God. I love you, thank you so much. You're welcome. So do you work here at SpaceX? Not for SpaceX, but I work down here for a YouTube channel. This YouTube channel covers this, so I come down here almost every day and either get some photos or videos. Did you ever saw Elon Musk here? Probably in the year and a half I've been here, I come down here five days a week and I've seen him maybe two or three times. So what do you think are my chances to meet him here, for him to hug me? Honestly, maybe like 5%, maybe less than 5%. Uh, ah! Nobody will care about me if I don't force them to care. And the only thing I know how to do is getting people's attention by making videos. Yo. Hello. Hello. So what's the plan? So I have a great idea. Every day we're going to upload a short online everywhere until Elon Musk agrees to give me a hug. Great, right? And what are these videos about, Phidias? I'm going to be creating videos about me outside of SpaceX suffering and hopefully people will get behind and we're going to create an online movement. This is day one. Day two. Day three. Day four. Day five. Day six. Day seven. Staying outside SpaceX until Elon Musk hugged me. Okay, it didn't go as well as I thought. I'm alone, living in the middle of the desert and only getting a couple of thousands of views every video. But I didn't stop making videos every day. Do you think this will be more successful? You have a good chance? 5 a.m. in the morning and it started raining. Don't go lie, I started getting tired, guys. Every day the same thing. At the end of week four, I started becoming desperate. I didn't know what else to do. So I had a stupid idea. I want to ask you a favor. Can you go to Elon Musk's mother now and spam her in the comments to tell Elon to hack me? That will mean a lot to me. I had no idea what I had done. I made Elon Musk mother super angry. What is good about Twitter is you can complain about spamming on Instagram. Fidias asked his Instagram followers to spam me. I have removed over 500 comments. Elon Musk, please do not hug this malicious man. Stay safe. I messed up. I love Elon Musk, but now I hurt his mother. Yes? Go on Twitter now. What? Found the mother's tweet and go to the replies now. Now. Okay. For the first time in 28 days, Elon Musk had noticed me. And even though I felt closer than ever to hug him, I felt bad that he noticed me in this way. The only thing I could do was to apologize to his mother and keep going. But Elon bought Twitter and he never came to SpaceX since that moment. And it's been a month that I'm out here struggling. So I have to change something. Hi, student. 
Hello, teacher. I have a dilemma. I'm thinking to move outside Twitter in San Francisco and come there. But I made connections here. I have friends. I will give it all up and start from the beginning. I don't know if it's the right choice. What do you think? What? Are you hearing what you say? You feel now comfortable outside SpaceX and you don't want to go for a new challenge, huh? Is this Phileas? Ah, you are right. I'm booking flights for tomorrow. Uh, where are you going, sir? Going to Twitter headquarters. Oh, do you know, sir? Uh, it's in the really bad neighborhood. Really? Yeah. Actually, I'm planning to stay outside there with my sleeping bag. Oh. While I was sleeping, a person with a bike approached me and stole my bag. In this bag, there was my laptop, my camera, my passport, around $5,000 lost. When I woke up, I started looking around for my bag. And then is when I realized the driver was right. This is a terrible neighborhood. On top of that, Elon's security guards wanted me to leave Twitter immediately. The Twitter security called the police. Hello, sir. When a security call, they talked to me and they said that right now, you're not on private property, right? You're on public property, you're not breaking any laws. They just told me that they don't want you inside the actual Twitter HQ building here. And if you do enter the building, they would have you arrested for trespass. After a couple of days, Elon's security guards came to speak directly with me. He said that I have 0% chance of me getting my hug and that Elon doesn't want to to do anything with me. In real life, everything sucked. But online, I started to get 10 million views in every video we uploaded. People came to visit me in real life to give me presents and say some encouraging words. Finish? Yes. Oh, nice to meet you. I'm a fan. Nice to meet you. Really? Yeah. So are you here doing one of your videos? Yes. I'm here from the morning until midnight. And do you sleep over here just waiting to hug Elon Musk? Yes, it's tough. I sleep in my sleeping bag here. <laughs> oh God, that must be tough. Um, I have a place literally right opposite this building and I have a spare bedroom as well. If you want, you can come crash for how long you want till you get your hug from Elon Musk. Oh yeah. my God, I would love that. Oh my God, wow. <laughs> so Fidius, this is my place. Wow. And over here, this is a spare bedroom, which is from now on, it's all yours. Wow. <laughs> Ah, it's been 56 days since I slept in a real bed. Oh my God, thank you so much. I don't mention it. The next day, I had an important conversation. Elon Musk bodyguard came and told me that they respect what I'm doing, but he said that they can't allow this to happen because if he hugs me, then hundreds of people will come outside Twitter and ask him for stuff. This is not a good news, but failure is not an option. So I'm going to continue being here and hopefully they change their mind. Hey, Fidius, did you get the hug? No, and I don't think I will ever hug him. Oh man. Um, that must be tough because you've been there almost every single day. I wanted to ask you a question. It's a little bit of a personal question. Um, how are you doing financially? Because this is taking a lot from you. To be honest, I'm struggling because we don't make any money from these short form videos. And I need to decide or to fire some people in my team or to keep going. I don't know why I keep going. The days are getting harder and harder doing the same thing every time, from morning until night. I'm getting hurt financially, physically, and mentally. Good morning. Phyllis, where are you going? To Twitter. Today is the World Cup Finals. Elon Musk is not going to be at the Twitter headquarters. Why don't you come and watch the finals with me? Okay, let's, let's do it. All right. <laughs> It was the best game I watched in my entire life. For two hours, I felt like a normal person after these 65 days of craziness. Yeah! <laughs> Yo. Have you checked Elon Musk's video going viral on TikTok? What video? 
Okay, I will leave you check it out by yourself. Okay. I'm doing like a kid, but I spent so much time and effort to this, and I almost gave up, but I kept going. Oh my god, I can't believe it. After speaking with Elon Musk bodyguards, they told me to wait for a text from them to give him the hug. And in three days, it happened. There is no official time yet. You will come alone with no bugs or any other devices other than your cell phone. You will turn your phone off and hand it to us when you arrive. Then you will be searched before coming upstairs. On the way that we were going upstairs, he said, you are going to have only your phone and you're going to only take a picture. And I said to him, no, I want to take a 10 second video of me hugging him. And he said, no, you're going to take only a picture. And I was like, man i've been here for 65 days for just this video please he was like no and he went upstairs in the building and probably talked with elon and he came down and told me he's not going to hug you tonight <laughs> Now I feel stupid, but now I think that was a mistake because he's so busy with all this stuff and he accepted for me to go and take a photo with him and I wanted more. After all this, I understood how valuable Elon Musk time is. He even said it on this tweet, time is the ultimate currency. Actually, this is how much his time is worth. Every high quality minute of thinking uh, is a million dollars to impact on, on Tesla. For the next days, I was waking up every day waiting for a text from Elon's bodyguard. Two weeks passed by and I didn't hear from him. But then... Come now to get the hug. While I was running, I was thinking about all the people who helped me along the way. The viewers, my family, my team. But more importantly, that all these millions of people that watch this series will live with the lesson to not give up. So now it's time to give Elon Musk a taste of his own medicine. Ladies and gentlemen, after three months of me trying to hug this guy. <laughs> Here we are. <laughs> I can't believe this is real because Every single day for the last three months, I've been staying outside in the streets, making videos and all this stuff. And I want to say thank you to all the people that convinced you, the kids in the world, have all the people that made this happen. So yeah, like so, just so that you know, the, the kids could they, they could ask for anything um, for themselves. Like they, they asked if I could hug you. I was like, well, okay, if that's, if that, you know. If, if there are people ask for something like that, just when kids ask for I, anyway, that's that that what convinced me. He's like, yeah, sure. Um, I love, I love it. He, he's a bit. <laughs> I love your communication because that you you are not very easy to articulate things. But you say things very simple, but you are this uh, kind of weird guy, which is so cool to meet you in person. You're welcome. <laughs> uh, you you agree that you are a bit. Yeah, yeah, I'm sure. Stuff, so. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I just said to my idol that he's awkward and he cannot articulate himself. <laughs> but before we started filming, Elon spent 10 minutes of his time with me and he was asking me questions on why I did this and all this stuff. And I know in the video before we said that 10 minutes of Elon's time is valued at 10 million dollars. But to be honest, I valued those 10 minutes a lot more than 10 million dollars. It's priceless for me. And now, the moment we all been waiting for. Are you ready? I mean, are you, you, you seem pretty good at hugging, so it must be like a hell of a good hug or something. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> like, uh, <laughs> oh my God, thank you guys for watching. Right. I love you. Goodbye, yeah. we did it. <laughs>